Hey, we're talking about hope this week here on Tack Room Devotional. Merry Christmas, everybody. We're taking it from a, a book called The Hope of Christmas uh, with re reflections from Our Daily Bread, which is the, uh, the daily devotional um, that many of you read. Uh, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Today, I want to talk to you about the perfect gift. And again, I'm pretty much just reading this because I think it's really good. Those of you who are dealing with... Uh, anxieties and depression and stuff this time of the year uh, maybe some of you just are you know uptight because scheduling is tough and everything i asked, i just pray that god would allow you to just to take a moment relax and enjoy his presence right now this is called the perfect gift every year our local botanical garden hosts a celebration of christmas around the world my favorite display is a french nativity Instead of the traditional scene showing shepherds and wise men with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh gathered around the manger, it shows French villagers bringing their gifts to baby Jesus. They bring bread, wine, cheese, flowers, and other items that God has given them uh, the ability to produce. This reminds me of the Old Testament command to bring the first fruits of our labor to the house of the Lord, uh, and that comes from Exodus chapter uh, 28, I'm sorry, uh, chapter 23, verse 16 through 19. Uh, this depiction of the nativity illustrates that everything we have comes from God. So the only thing we have to give is something that God has given us. That's true. Amen. Uh, and and that, that's true. Many times we see these manger scenes and we see the, the, the wise men and, and see the shepherds bringing gifts and, and, and paying homage to the Lord and everything. And yet what God really wants is just you and me. That's what he wants. When Paul instructed the Romans to present themselves as living sacrifice, he was telling them to give back to God what God had given them, their own selves. This includes the gifts he gave them, even their ability to earn a living. Amen. One of the greatest gifts you and I can give is our talents and our gifts and our time. Amen. We know that God gives people special abilities. Some were skilled in music. Um, some were skilled in artistic works. Others have skill in writing, teaching, gardening, and many other things. When we give back to God what he has given to us, we give him the greatest gift. Amen. Let me read from Romans chapter 12, verse 1 through 8. It says, And so, dear brethren and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because all he has done for you. Let him be a living and holy uh, I'm sorry, let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and the customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Amen. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Because of the privilege and authority God has given me, I give each of you this warning. This is Paul speaking. Don't think you are better than you really are. Be honest in your evaluation of yourselves, measuring yourselves by the faith God has given us. Just as our bodies have many parts and each part has a special function, so it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we are all belong to each other. In his grace, God has given us different gifts for doing uh, certain uh, things well. So if God has given you the ability to prophesy, speak out with as much faith as God has given you. If your gift is serving others, serve them well. If you are a teacher, teach well. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. If you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. So when we talk about the perfect gift, and this is the time of year that we do that, may, maybe you've been searching for that perfect gift for someone else. How about giving yourself? How about spending time alone with them? 
not with an iPhone or an iPad or, or in front of a TV, but one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, eyeball to eyeball. Maybe it's that mom or that da dad or that son or that, that daughter or a, a distant relative. The perfect gift is for us to give of ourselves, not only to, to, to God, but also to one another. What a perfect gift this time of year. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.